Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far. I'm going to talk to you today about the Start tab. Oh yeah, I know some of you are lovers of the Start tab and some of you are haters of the Start tab. And today I'm going to try to turn you haters into lovers because the Start tab has a lot to offer. And let's face it, it needs a little love too. <laughs> so let's take a look at everything the Start tab has to offer. Let's see if I can convince you to give it a little bit more love. All right, so most of us, you know, we see it when we open AutoCAD and we don't like anything getting in the way of our command line. Am I right? That's why there's so many Start tab haters out there and you know who you are. All right, so if you're in AutoCAD 2018, you should know that Start mode does not show up when you launch AutoCAD. Now you're all gonna upgrade just for that one reason. <laughs> Um, for the rest of you, I will actually show you in this tip how to turn it off if it does bug you. All right, but before that, let's take a look. As I said, right in the middle here, um, that's where your recent documents are. So your most recently viewed join files. Okay, by default, it will only show you nine previously viewed join files or sheet sets, whatever the situation is. I'm going to also show you how to make that a higher number. All right, now there's three ways to display them. You, if you take a look down here, I'm currently displaying them with like medium size icons where I get a fair amount of information. If you want larger icons or images, you can switch it. I don't get as much information. Or you can switch it over to lots of information, no icons. I don't like that one. I like to write right down the middle, if you know what I mean. And if you have a joint file that you use a lot and you don't want to have to go search for it, you can always pin it, right? You can pin it. So it's easy to get to. It's always going to stay pinned. You know what that's like in, you know, in other products, right? I highly recommend that you do that if you're going to be working on a drawing file for a little while. Okay? All right, that's easy enough. What do we got over here? This is all this, you know, start a new drawing, open an existing drawing, open sheet sets, things like that. Grab some online templates, if you will. Look at the sample drawings. Right-hand side of the screen, notifications. Autodesk wants to talk to you, wants to tell you stuff, wants to share information with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> that's where notification, that's where they're in the notifications box. You can go quickly to A360 and you can send feedback. You know, are you having a rough day with AutoCAD? By all means, you should let the product team know what's bugging you. You know, maybe you're just having problems with your relationship. You can put that there too. However, I don't think the AutoCAD product team will be able to help you. But hey, sometimes it just feels better to get it off your chest, doesn't it? <laughs> Why not? So we have been on the Create tab so far. All right, let's switch over to Learn, if you will. We're on the Start tab. Let's go over to the Learn section of the Start tab. All right, so here we have a whole bunch of videos, and some of these videos are extremely helpful. There's like beginner videos. There's what what's new videos. Whenever you click on a video, even if you just watch it for a few seconds, that yellow line will go away. That indicates that you've already seen the video, so maybe you don't want to see it again unless you like reruns. Some of us love reruns, all right? So there's a lot of videos with important information. And then I love these learning tips up here, right? We're all about learning more about AutoCAD. That's why you're listening to me right now, unless it's just my charming personality. <laughs> Highly doubtful. So I like to actually click through here. You can learn something new. You know, whenever you have a little bit of extra time, maybe you'll find a tip that's very valuable to you. This used to be a tip a day, but apparently, they ran out of tips. Too many days, not enough tips. So it's not a tip a day anymore. And then there's online resources. There's the awesome Hitchhiker's Guide to AutoCAD Basics and the ability to go to Autodesk AutoCAD Services and Support, also known as the AutoCAD Knowledge Network. And you can click on that, or the Autodesk Knowledge Network. You can click on that, and let me just scoot over to it. You will go to the Autodesk Knowledge network. And here, you can ask all your questions. You're having a problem doing something, just type it out. You would be surprised what information you can find on here. For example, how do I turn off start tab? Some of you want it to go away. I thought I just sold it to you, but maybe, maybe I didn't. All right, how do I do it? Well, it looks like down here, how do I turn off the start tab? If I have 2017 or before, right, in 2018, you don't have to worry about it so much. Um, although it's still always going to be there as a persistent tab in 2018. Maybe you want to really turn it off, right? So if you want to really turn it off, it says right here, go into start mode, and you're going to set it to zero. 
and then Start tab is gone. All right now, if you decide to turn it back on, you can of course set Start Mode to 1, but just so you know, it won't come back on until you leave AutoCAD and go back into AutoCAD. So it is a commitment when you turn it off. So you might want to think about that. We don't make it that easy to turn it back on. We want you to love the Start tab. Very, very important. Love the Start tab. All right, so one other thing I do want to show you. If you go into Options, I like to do a right click at the command line to go into Options, and you go to Open and Save, you will see right here underneath Application Menu, even though that's not the Application Menu, it is the Start tab, the number of recently used files. Okay, When you load up AutoCAD, by default, it sets it to 9. But you can actually set it as high as 50. Can you see that right there? Recent Documents Quick Menu. All right, set it to 50. Save yourself. There's no reason to have it set to 9. 9 is a ridiculous number. It's a legacy number from the file pull-down menu. Set it to 50. You'll die a happy person. See how easy that was to be happy? Set it to 50. All right, thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of the week. Do you have a little more love for the Start tab? Do you have a little bit more love for it? Because it needs your love. All right, see you back here in two more weeks.